I'm a high school teacher and she was a student of mine in my class. We got to know each other a little bit just so I could try and get to know all my students. Sharice and I had always talked about fostering. Um, didn't really give an age or anything, babies, teenagers, whatever, um, but we kind of felt like this was the right situation. Well, I know that I grew up like with my mom, just my mom, and like her side of the family didn't really like colored people. And I've always wanted like a family that I could bond with and get along with instead of like fight with and argue with. They went and opened up a bank account. She never had a bank account before and her first paycheck and her first um, splitting the money between savings and spending. And I remember the first time we went shopping and she was like, I got this and paid for you know the clothes herself. She has the opportunity now to work and to make her own money and so then she's able to pay you know she's been buying her own dance shoes and and her leotard and things like that and and I think in the group home she didn't have an opportunity to work and was kind of limited on resources and so that just limited her chance to be able to be involved or get out of the house a little bit. So how's it being a big sister to Layla now? It's a lot of responsibility sometimes but other times it's just like oh hi. I think Layla's done a really good job of it in the the fact that she was the only grandchild on my my parents' side, and it was like everything, the world revolved around her, and I think um, sharing that attention, it's good for her, but I, I think she's done a pretty good job of it. She really looks up to Victoria, just adores her. They all have time where they do each other's makeup, and um, <laughs> and Victoria will get down in the, you know, by the Barbie house and play Barbies with Layla. And... Teenagers, they're older, they've been through a lot, they've seen a lot more than just like a little child they're more pure so being open to whatever they've been through like you don't know what they've been through they might need that love in their life because I know I did you as parents you just tend to think about if you can handle something like this or um, and I, I knew that we could but you still have that fear of uh, what if this goes wrong what if it uh, creates even a, a, a worse situation instead of a better situation for for our family and for Victoria. But other than that, I don't, I wasn't really fearful. It makes me happy that I actually have a family now and that's why I want to stay longer. <laughs>